I got, I got to ask about, um, so I feel like right now we have, run, there's almost like if you look at the runners out there, there's a little bit of an Avengers thing going on. What I mean by that is there's definitely people that stand out as characters. Like you have Craig Angles with his mustache and his, mm-hmm. you know, uh, mullet. And you've got the glasses. And I feel like that's, you know, pretty easy to f- pick you out of a crowd, mm-hmm. the glasses. I have contacts in because when I run, I can't stand if my glasses get fogged up. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, you know, I'll wear sunglasses and stuff, but my prescription lenses are a little thicker mm-hmm. and they don't feel as comfortable on my face. How do you, how do you, <laughs> like, funny. this is my next question. So. How, how do you <laughs> decide to, to run with glasses? And they look like they're pretty solid prescriptions. Mm, oh yeah. No, I am like blind as a bat. And so <laughs> like, uh, I think, I don't know, like I couldn't survive in the real world without them, but, um, I always say that about me, like uh, if I was back in the caveman days, yeah, I would have gotten be, eaten right away. Literally like 200 years ago, we'd be dead. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'd have to stick to gathering, that's for sure. <laughs> you know? Well, you're pretty fast. You might just let Robbie and I get eaten yeah. and get yeah. on your way. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a mix. And so, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to, I think, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like I, I always, like I didn't get glasses until I was like 17. So that was pretty late, especially for my prescription. You're like, wow, look at the world. It's amazing. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And so, but then I realized like, yeah, like I'm one of the few kids out here, like wearing glasses. And and I kept that on through, um, you know, through college and that became my thing. And uh, now I'm, I'm starting to like get some of those, I'm getting those bad, bad glasses day uh, in race days, like a little bit more often. And, and so I've gotten contacts and I race in contacts sometimes, I race in glasses other times. And, um, you know, like my, the race before this 5k was in Philadelphia and I did the, the broad street 10 miler and it was, it was like raining and, oh um, no, yeah. And so, and I, and I'd only brought glasses and so like, that's the worst. Th- yeah. Thankfully it was a straight shot and I was just like, I saw another runner that had like this bright yellow jersey and I just like was like I have to I have to stay close to this person because they're gonna be my guide to the finish line and I was Uh, like that's don't you wish you were fast enough that you could do that you'd just be like I'll just stay on somebody (laughs) now the thing is like you could to keep the Clark Kent look you Mm -hmm. could get you know the contacts and then just put like you know lenses in 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 a glass Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could maintain it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and take them off if it's raining. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that like that's that's my plan. I think one day maybe I'll get Lasix or something like that. And I uh, are you terrified? Yeah. Like in the in the Broad Street, were you terrified you'd step in a pothole or something? Because that would be like freaking me out. Oh yeah, I mean it was kind of it was the concern. I think there is a a couple times there were like only a few turns, but there are times where like okay. on the curb I was just like, oh man, like I have to. Like I have to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, I had to focus because, yeah. like, <laughs> like you know, while the the runner ahead of me was like, they were just kind of going through the curb. They could step off onto the next level and step off right. easily. I was just like, I was like, doing high knees onto the curb <laughs> just <laughs> to make sure I was on it. <laughs> I bet in a way that takes your mind off the the actual race and the the pain of running. You can you're just focused on <laughs> just staying alive. To see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's funny because I used to run without my contacts so i'd wear glasses i didn't even have contacts and i'd run around uh, baltimore is pretty you know you've got your regular running routes and i would run past people and they'd be like why why didn't you wave or In- say hello including me <laughs> <laughs> like i didn't see you <laughs> hey thomas he just runs right past me <laughs> thanks man oh, yeah. yeah no i mean uh, i'm sure that like that's happened to me like before i had glasses that certainly happened to me like i probably just ignored people and yeah, people thought you were aloof. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But. Did you? Are you gearing up for uh, the Olympic trials coming up? For I guess now we're two years out. For yeah, the, uh, the summer. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't say like for the marathon. I'm guessing or the. No, I, I'm guessing. I was going to ask you what distance. Yeah, yeah. And so for for the next, I guess, Olympic trials, I would hope to go for the 5K and the 10K, um, and you know, hopefully qualifying one or both of those. Um, but yeah. And so I would, I'd like to stick on the track until 2024 and then run a marathon in the fall of 2024. Um, you know, I think that, but that's the goal right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's the goal. I I would, you know, since track season is like 
fairly limited. It's like, you know, it's February to June, and if you're lucky, August. Um, you know, I, I try to race on the roads from September to January, you know, and so um, I'll, I'll run my half marathons, my like 10K road races, stuff like that in, in this time of the year, and then I'll transition into track season uh, from February to, to August. <laughs>